In these videos we have been introducing the concept of diagonal matrix and this is a quick video just to prove that uh, if D is a diagonal matrix the transpose is equal to the matrix. Okay, so we pick D, a diagonal matrix, where D is Dij, right? So let us call the transpose of D Aij. Okay. Okay. So if I is different from J, what will happen is that Aij will be equal to dgi. Why is that? Because all the entries will be zero, right? And this is even equal to dij, because this is a diagonal matrix. So uh, if i is equal to j, this number here will be different from zero and all the other entries where i is different from j will be zero, right, for this one. And of course the same for this one, because this is a diagonal matrix, okay? So if we are in this case here, so i, if i is different from, so let us say, Case number one, if i is different from j, so aij, this matrix, aij, since this is the transpose of d, aij will be equal to dgji, right? dji. But dji, since j is different from i, will be zero. So aij will be zero, and dij, they will all be zero. Okay, now second case, if i is equal to j, then a i i, because it will be the same, will be equal to d i i. Okay, so in this case and in this case, they will both be the same. So that implies that the diagonal transpose is equal to the diagonal. Okay, and that concludes the proof. So a diagonal, the, the transpose of the diagonal matrix is the matrix itself. Of course, this is totally obvious. If you look at this from the uh, intuitive point of view, right? You pick a diagonal matrix like this, right? And um, if you transpose this matrix, that will be taking the column to lines. So it will be 1, 0, right? You take this one here, and uh, you take this one, so 0, 2, right? Well, that's the same. Okay. Okay, but that's from an intuitive point of view. This is the, the formal proof for that. Now, if uh, it's obvious that the identity transpose will also be equal to the, the identity. So, as I say, prove that the identity transpose is equal to the identity. Well, you say that the identity is a diagonal matrix, and it is proved here that diagonal matrix, the transpose, is equal to the matrix itself. So, the identity matrix transpose is equal to the identity, okay? Um, what about the zero matrix transpose? Is it equal to zero? Well, zero is a square matrix, so if zero is a square matrix, this one will be a square matrix too, okay? Otherwise, the transpose of the zero matrix and the zero matrix will have different sizes 
and if they have different sizes they cannot be equal so they have to be equal okay so all this is proved right <coughs>